Jersey for tonight's main event. 12 rounds of heavyweight action between these two great warriors. Holmes' ring walks have become the stuff of legend, and you can see the intensity on his face. Tyson's got his eye on the prize. Look at that focus and determination during his ring walk. You know, you look through the history of boxing, Teddy, and so many of the big knockout punchers, so many of the great all-time power punchers had the straight right hand as part of their weapon. Yeah, and you had to be able to notice how long it was, where it started, where it ended, when you were at a safe distance, out of range, and when you weren't. See, he wanted to do that as he holds on there. Oh, that shot of hurt. Holmes is feeling the impact of that powerful hook. Well, supposed to be fighting, but instead he's hugging. Understood about the heavyweight division. I think it's human nature for people to see these big goliaths that they start to think that hey, they're more sure of themselves. That these guys have more of an abundance of security about themselves, about confidence. And really, it's the opposite. In some ways, these big giants they're really unsure of themselves because they know they can do damage. They're also worried about damage being done to them. defensive guard there. Through the years, especially in the heavyweight division, there have been some guys that can throw a good right uppercut. But when Tyson fully dips and gets 
gets all that body behind it, it's as good a right uppercut as you've ever seen. Yeah, it's coming from Brooklyn. You know, it's coming from a place that really you wish that you didn't have to visit because you get hit with that punch. He's putting everything into it, but he sets it up now. He hits you behind the back a little bit in the rib area, and then all of a sudden, when your arm moves a little bit, it's coming up the middle. Able to block that away. It was targeted for his head. Holmes is probably thinking that he just won that round. And with good reason, Teddy, he was just busy. He was busy as controller. The tempo is controlling the pace of the fight right now. You know, simply put, you're watching two guys and you say, that guy's the boss, that guy's not. Coming upon the halfway mark of this three-minute round. He just missed that shot up top. Teddy, in terms of pure strategy, facing Mike Tyson. What can you take advantage of? Well, he needs to be set to punch. So obviously, you don't want to stand right in front of him. You want to give him angles. You want to give him some lateral movement. Keep him off balance. Keep his feet moving. If his feet are moving, his hands usually are not coming at you. Keep your distance. Keep working the Ten seconds remaining in this round. Punch stats numbers are impressive. Right in the center of the ring. Here we go with the fourth round. And you can see he wanted to do that as he holds on there. That wasn't able to land. seconds to go in round number four and he continues to hold there good defense upstairs to stay away from that offensive assault action as he just ties up. One, two, one, two. That's great stuff. He fires one right back after taking one. Gotta love the work by Mike Tyson. statistics really shine in that last round. You can see